Hi everyone, this is a first timer for me. Uh, even for me, I've been in practice about 17 years now. I've never seen anything like this. I, saw, I had a patient come in to see me last week, I think on Thursday or Friday, I forget. Uh, but uh, it was truly an emergency. It's rare that in plastic surgery we have emergencies to do any procedures. Of course, after surgery you can have an emergency in terms of a hematoma or something like that, but this is a random patient that I've never met before. Uh, a friend of mine called me and said, I have a friend that needs an emergency treatment for plastic surgery for Botox. I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about emergency for Botox? I mean, it doesn't work quickly and what is the emergency? So she said, you just have to see it. So I said, I was curious. So I said, all right, send her on in. So she came in to see me and I have her photos here. So I don't want you to be confused here. This is the patient normally, in a normal situation. She's a young, attractive female. This is her normal look, the top photo. When she came to see me, this is what she looked like. I mean, she could barely open her eyes. I was like, what's going on here, right? Never seen it. Of course, you may have heard, right? I mean, many, many patients by now have heard that you could get droopy eyelids sometimes with Botox with the injection in the, you know, being put in the wrong place. And usually it's on one side. It's not tremendous, you know, it's not severely bad and whatever. But in this case, it's almost like she had a condition where she just can't open her eyes at all. I mean, it's remarkable if you see her in person, and for privacy reasons, I can't show her whole photo, but if you see her whole picture, she, she has to tilt her neck, if you can, you know, she had to tilt her neck like this to be able to see from a little slit underneath here to see in the front. She literally could not see anything in the front because the lid was completely covering up her eyeball. And so she couldn't function like this, right? She had two kids that she had to take to school or, you know, kind of camp or whatever. And she was alone. Her husband was out of town. So she didn't know how to function. So that was the emergency. Uh, we had to figure out a way to uh, temporarily give her some functionality of her life back. And But we know it's, this is not permanent because it's from Botox. It was done a week ago. I think that's when it set in, about a week later. And happened almost at the same time and completely made her incapacitated, right? So the solution, essentially, there's no medications to give to reverse it. There's no, you know, nothing we can inject or nothing creams that we can put in to reverse the effects of Botox. If there was enough dosing put in, this condition may last, I don't know, three weeks, three months even. Can you imagine functioning or non-functioning for three months like this? But essentially that's what happened, okay? So what I did was again a very creative solution. I essentially first put glue, what we use for surgery, across here and across here and essentially elevated the lid and glued their lids together. It opened up her eyes and she was able to function, but clearly glue can be a long-term solution because, uh, because it's just gonna come off, right? And this glue can be, you know, it's not like a glue, like a permanent glue or something like that, but it's a surgical glue that, you know, can come off uh, rather easily. We use it for dressings. So we first tested it to make sure that it's something that could be functional, workable for her, and it was workable. And then she also started using these eye drops called apneek, or it's like Afrin essentially is what it is for the eyes. Afrin you put in your nose to open up your nose. Same product essentially has been made into an ophthalmic formulation, which is you know very similar. And you just put it in the eye and it opens up the eye, maybe a one or two millimeters, so I did that. And so now that we've established that we can create some function, then what I did was that I took some stitches and under local anesthesia, just put three stitches across the whole lid here and anchored it to her brow up here so that the whole lid was open enough. But the tricky part here was to make sure that she could blink. That's the problem, right? She cannot open her eyes at all. Uh, she can close it, but she cannot open it. So how are you gonna blink? So we have to make sure that she's consciously lubricating her eyes with some eye drops. She's able to put ointment in her eyes and it's a, it's a real, hassle for the next three weeks to three months. I really don't know how uh, long it's gonna take, but that's what I did. So by the time she left the office, after I you know, kind of did this testing and you know, stitching, she was able to see fairly well straight on, and she was able to function, 
and she's wearing sunglasses for the most part so that people don't see but the most important thing like i said is that this is not unfortunately something uh, that's going to look great but it is definitely going to function for you and that's what she's doing so i may have to see her back one or two or three times over the next few weeks every time so that i can adjust the suture if it gotten loose and she's not able to function properly in addition what I also did is that I added more Botox. That sounds a little bit funny, right? I added Botox along the sides, along here for her, so that the brow can be lifted slightly, so maybe give her some more openness so that, so that she can see. So this is a tricky, creative, unfortunately creative problem and a creative solution for an unfortunate you know, Botox injection. So I just caution all of you to be very careful uh, you know, so many people are doing so many things these days in aesthetics. Choose wisely. Go to people you trust. Uh, go to somebody who's had adequate training uh, and uh, has uh, done it for a while so that you get good uh, or absolutely great outcomes and not uh, issues like this. Uh, I, I would be... I would be out of work, you know, for three months if I had a problem like this for myself and that would be devastating. So, interesting case.